artist and his work. Rawson is a Bulgarian artist who now lives in Atlanta. He sent this image to iReport.com, standing alongside some of his most recent work. Rawson is a professional portrait artist. His oil on canvas paintings look like photographs. We later talked with him about more of his most noted clients. I did President Bush and his father, President Bush, and the Coca-Cola executives, and people like that. His website is portraitpartners.com, and you can see hundreds of portraits that Rawson has painted. He and this country have done more than 270 portraits for the last seven years. Another dimension of Rawson's talent is this four by seven meter masterpiece called A Meeting in Time. The painting depicts the 18 United States presidents of the 20th century gathered across time in what was to them the familiar halls of the White House. Recently, Rawson was in Washington unveiling another portrait. Senator Chambliss asked me to do his portrait some six, eight months ago. We moved it to Washington. We unveiled it at the Russell Senate building. The video clip you just saw was posted on iReport.com by a painter who goes by the name of Rosen. And guess what? We are in his studio. And here he is working on something. Let's ask him what he's working on. Rosen, thank hey, you so Robinson. much for inviting us in. Thanks so what are you coming. working on? Well, you see a painting in progress. That's a, uh, that's a mask. Let's take a mask. And uh, this is part of my collection called American Royalty. And I'd love to show some of my work so you can get the idea of what's going on in this studio right now. Can't wait. Let's do it. Lovely. So as you can see, that's uh, Brittany in a certain period of her life. But why Which, this period, the hairless period? <laughs> because of the drama. She, at some point, became a prisoner of her fame. And uh, that is, from artistic point of view, very, very intriguing. And therefore, she's more human than ever, more human than any uh, glamorous image of her uh, uh, that we know. So tell me about Washington. Why did you choose to paint him? You see, I see those paintings not as portraits, not as, not as paintings. I see them as uh, unique, uh, tunnels in time, a unique opportunities for the viewer actually to meet the person, to go beyond the, the, the material of the canvas and the paint, to, to actually experience the person like almost never, never like almost never before. Show me, show me what you have Let underneath you Washington. Some, some more, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Barbie, an American icon. I mentioned earlier that the, the name of the whole connection is American royalty. So yes, we have another icon here. She definitely, in my opinion, belongs uh, in that group, although it's a little bit maybe strange to the viewer to see them together with uh, Washington and, 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 and Lincoln later. But she's simply gorgeous. She's unbelievable. Yet again, there is an element of drama, element which makes you uncomfortable about it. She's plastic, she's not real, but she's an idol for so many girls and, and young ladies. So uh, she's an inspiration, and, and she's an inspiration for me as an artist, too. Let me show you more, yes. Oh, my goodness, this is beautiful. She's the ultimate lady of the recent American history, speaking again of royalty. Who else but Jackie oh, Kennedy? Yes. In terms of in terms of style, of beauty, of acute intelligence, and probably the most intriguing portrait of which I personally oh. like a lot, and that would be Lincoln, the 16th president. He, he he looks at you, but he also looks through you. He looks the the future is somehow in his eyes. So what is for me, extremely intriguing about this portrait is that this is not a moment of his life or moment of history, but this is a, uh, a long 
time, a long period of time without beginning and without an end. So we experience that present in a very unique, almost transcendental way. All these iconic images remind me of another guy I saw on iReport.com. He has a totally different style and medium, but let me show you what I mean. That's quite impressive for such a young fellow. He has a long way to go, but luckily I'm in the studio of an accomplished professional artist. Rosen, give us some advice for the rest of us who want to be like you when we grow up. It's very simple, actually. Keep painting and follow your heart. Good advice, don't you think? Rosen, thank you so much for sharing your My incredible pleasure. art with us and also with iReport.com. You can do the same. Just go to our website, CNN.com, click on the iReport logo. Unfortunately, we're out of time. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for joining us.